So now that I've, I've introduced the Euler's line of a triangle ABC uh, and the fact that if I consider the center of the, tri of the circumscribed circle of the triangle as the origin and I have shown that G is equal to ZA plus ZB plus ZC over 3 and Z is ZH the orthocenter G is the centroid, H is the orthocenter which will be equal to the sum of the components corresponding to each of the vertices of the triangle ABC so now I, I can introduce the concept of the nine point circle of any triangle so if I consider the circumscribed circle of an arbitrary triangle ABC I'll consider nine points the first three points is the feet of the altitudes from each of the vertices so I consider the, the lines perpendicular the line from A perpendicular to the opposite side AI so the point I the other altitude BJ, the point J in fact, and the th third one CK. The second group of three points that I consider is the midpoint of each side A, A, B, A, C, and B, C. So in this side I consider D this side I consider E and here F and the final three points is the midpoints of the line segment AH, BH and CH so I consider the, the line segments the lines connecting the orthocenter to the each of the vertices of the triangle ABC and I consider the midpoints I call them as M N L so I can show using the theory of complex numbers that all of these nine points are situated in a circle whose name is the nine point circle of the triangle ABC so in order to show prove, prove this theorem first I consider the midpoints D E and F I know the corresponding components of these points but I don't know the component corresponding to the center of the nine point circle so the objective is, is to show that these three points are equidistant from the a center from a point that I I don't know its component so the objective is to show that the absolute value of ZP minus ZD is equal to ZP minus ZE and ZP minus ZF and all of these three values are equal to the radius of the nine-point circle So before, conti before I continue, I should say that without loss of generality, I suppose that all of these, these vertices A, B, and C belongs to, to, the, 
to a circle C, which is a unit circle. So the radius of the circumscribed circle of, this, of the triangle ABC is supposed to be 1. So I can use these equations. Norm of ZA, B, and C will be equal to norm of ZA bar, ZB bar, and ZC bar. Now all of these three, six values are unit because these are the radius of the triangle C of this of the circle C sorry so if I replace the corresponding values of Z of D E and F I have Z of P minus Z B plus Z C over 2 equal to Z of P minus Z A plus Z C half is equal to Z P minus Z A plus Z B half. Simply, I can obs observe that Z of P equal to Z of A plus Z B plus Z C half Will, be, will satisfy simultaneously all of these equations. So if I replace, if I substitute this value, which is the component corresponding to the center of the nine-point circle, if I replace for the first one, I have Z of A half, which is simply equal to Z B half and Z C half and this value will be half which will be the radius of the tr of the nine point circle which is exactly half of the radius of the circumscribed circle Now I, I consider the second groups, group of points I, J, and K, which are the feet of the altitudes of the triangle ABC. I've already calculated the components corresponding to Z, I, J, and K. So I know these values and I should prove that Z of P minus Z of I will be equal to Z of P minus Z of J will be equal to Z P minus Z K. So the center will be equidistant from these three points. So as I as I've shown before, Z of I, J and K can be obtained simply using these equations. So for example for Zi I have I, ca I have the equation of Zp which is the half of the sum of Za and B and C. So the norm of Za plus Zb plus Zc half minus I replace the corresponding value of Z of I, which will be Z A plus Z B plus Z C minus Z A bar Z B Z C half, which will be equal to the second term is simply if I replace the corresponding value of Z of I, which is Z A plus Z B plus Z C minus Z B bar Z A Z C half, and the last term Z of P minus Z A Z B Z C minus Z C bar Z A Z C Z B sorry half. 
and I know that these three quantities are equal to, for example, the first one is half of Z A bar Z B Z C. That will be simply the radius of the nine point circle. The second one, Z B bar Z A Z C. All of the three points belong to the unit circle, so the same value. And the last one will be half. So I've shown that the point P is equidistant from the points I, J, and K, and the distance is the same as the distance of the point P and the points D, E, and F. The last thing to be shown is that the point P is equidistant equidistance from the points uh, sorry L M and N the the last points are the midpoint of A H B H and C H L M and N so I can I consider these three points I know the corresponding components of this these three points because Z of L for example is simply Z of A plus Z of H half because L is the midpoint of the line segment AH and Z of H I know that is Z A plus Z B plus Z C so this will be 2 times ZA plus ZB plus ZC half and the same values the same approach for ZM and ZN so I can simply show that Z of P minus Z of L is equal to Z of P minus Z M minus Z of N and these three values will be exactly the, the radius of the nine point circle so if I consider for example this one Z A plus Z B plus Z C half minus 2 Z A plus Z B plus Z C half the second term here we have the same value Z of P minus Z of M here this point will be 2 Z B plus Z A plus Z C half and the third term is Z of P minus 2Z C plus Z A plus Z B half. And all of these quantities will be half because, for example, this one is no minus norm of minus Z A over 2 or no norm of Z A over 2. This is norm of the, the modulus of ZB over 2, the modulus of ZC over 2, and all of these quantities are one half. So, at the end, if I consider all of these equations, I've shown that ZP minus ZD equal to ZP minus ZE, ZP minus ZF, so the, the center of the nine point circle which is P, the point P is equidistance, equidistant from the midpoints of the triangle 
And similarly, P is equidistant from I, J, and K, which are the feet of the altitudes from A, B, and C. And P is equidistant from L, M, and L, which are the midpoints of the line segments which connect the ortho center to each of the vertices of the triangle ABC. And in fact we have we can we have shown that the radius of the nine point circle is half of the radius of the circumscribed circle of the, of the triangle ABC. So this example is another interesting application of the theory of complex numbers in the plane geometry problems. Thank you for your attention.